Every time I looked up today, I kept thinking, it's going to rain, it's going to rain, and now we're finally seeing it. I know, it really is rolling through, isn't it? It certainly is. You can feel the mugginess to the air as well, and the rain that we are seeing is from Tropical Storm Barrel. The outer bands have worked their way all the way now to I-44. That rain has been steadier the farther south and east you go into the area. So we'll be tracking Barrel tonight. Now, the effects of Barrel will pretty much move out of the area once we get into early tomorrow morning, and then we'll still have some slight Storm chance is probably mid to latter part of the week, but I mean a slight chance right now. We're just going to keep it about 20%. The heat, though, is going to start to build back as well. We've gotten a bit of break uh, from the heat, but it is going to come back. And today you can thank the break from the heat. All thanks to Tropical Storm Barrel, which is weakening and will likely become a tropical depression later on tonight. Again, those outer bands have worked all the way up to about I-44. By the way, there have been numerous tornadoes with Barrel here across eastern Texas. Texas and parts of Louisiana and that tornado threat is going to continue up into Arkansas this evening and into tonight. So if by chance you're traveling into Arkansas, that is something to keep in mind. The severe weather and tornado potential there. We don't have to worry about that here. Some locally heavy rainfall certainly possible. We've got Mark Falta. He's been out keeping an eye on some of the heavier rain that we've had in the metro this afternoon and this evening seeing some of those downpours moving through. You can see the rain beginning to lighten up a little bit more here from Vanita up to around Miami and Grove and Grand Lake and then farther to the south and to the east. See that line right here? That's actually some rain cool there. The outflow from these outer bands getting a push farther to the east and that rain cool there certainly has been welcome here in eastern Oklahoma where we've seen some rain temperatures are in the 70s right now. How about that? Rain has been steadier south and east and that's where we do have a flood watch in effect that does include Latimer County, Haskell County, Sequoia County and Adair County through tomorrow morning. So again, that's where we'll have the higher potential of widespread one to three inch rainfall totals. Don't come uh, if you uh, come across any flooded roadways again. Don't attempt to cross them. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center on barrel right now. A tropical storm with sustained winds at 45 miles per hour weakening and will continue to move off to the north and to the east, likely becoming extra tropical once it gets up into the Midwest, but will likely continue to produce heavy rain and severe weather potential as well. Again, the severe weather potential for tonight continues here in the parts of Arkansas. We don't have to worry about uh, too much of that here. And then tomorrow into the Ohio River Valley could have a tornado threat from Paducah, Kentucky, up to Evansville, Indiana, maybe up to around Louisville, Kentucky as well. So watching what Barrel may do there as it continues up into the Ohio River Valley into tomorrow. You can see the clouds that we've got here downtown Tulsa. Our temperature currently at 75 degrees. We did make it up to 88 before some of the rain moved in and cooled us off. And again, as we continue overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. That rain will start to taper off. I think by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, most of the rain will be confined here to the Oklahoma and Arkansas line. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow morning will still be in the 80s tomorrow. Take advantage of those highs in the 80s, but the, because the heat is going to build back, 90s come back on Wednesday, pretty close to average for this time of year, and then only going to get hotter as we go into the weekend and early next week. I hate to say it, but here comes some triple digits more than likely coming back as we head into the middle of next week, and there's likely going to be some humidity to go with that as well.